What is everybody? Trent here with Sound Lake TV at the Orange Field in Asheville, North Carolina. Not Nashville, Asheville. In Asheville. North, yeah, we're in Asheville. It's a beautiful place, nice little downtown area here. And I'm with Corey from Norma Jean. How, you guys, how, you, how are you doing? There's no guys here. It's just you. How are you doing? <laughs> doing good. I am guys. I'm multiple people here. Yeah, you're, multiple see, people. You're, you're seeing... I, I, I think there's a diagnosis for that. All in one mirrored thing. I think there's a diagnosis for that. Uh, uh, no. If there's multiple people in there, you know. No, that's normal. It's normal. <laughs> All right, man, so you're on the road uh, supporting Fit for King. You got some other bands on this tour, too. And so, uh, you know, you, your, your band has obviously been around for a very long time, put out many records, getting ready to release a new one and stuff. And so um, you your band is a legacy headlining type band. So what is it like, you know, coming out on a tour like this, you know, just to, you know, not have to worry about all that, just, you know, kind of, kind of be that support band to boost up Fit for King and all that? Yeah, uh, these are our favorite tours, really. I mean, it, you know, we come from an era where we were kind of, you know, when we were the younger band, that blew up over some you know bands that we were influenced by they would never su have supported us yeah. so um you know it, it's relatively around the same volume what we're bringing out but that's what makes a a tour like this great because we're packing it in at, you know every night so and we get to play in front of a lot of new faces which is why we would want to do a why we would want to do a support tour in the first place so no complaints and yeah easier i just yeah. <laughs> play peace out like nothing really hefty to take care of yeah, we didn't have all the fans on you know because you, you, you know every tour there's fans complaining they're like oh fit for king should be opening up for this band or norma jean shouldn't be supporting this band yeah. you know so like it's not just your band you see that a lot with like you know the older you know i guess the quote-unquote legacy act supporting the younger bands who've been not doing it as long as some people complain about that so i guess for people who don't understand that you know what do you say to those people well i i think it's, it's different depending on where you go. Like, yeah, there's probably some places, some cities that it would have worked the other way around. But you you end up, uh, no matter what, I mean, any headlining tour we do, we're rolling the dice on uh, who's going to stick around for the bands they want to see and then peace out. So, again, what makes a support tour great is that we get to play for yeah. everyone in the room. Um, and you know, makes, hopefully make some new fans and, you know, convince them <laughs> that thing does not have any boundaries. <laughs> it really doesn't. No, it's, no, it doesn't understand personal space, that thing. Uh, so yeah, we just, we get to play in front of a lot, a lot of new people. So I, I can't complain about that no matter where we go. Um, but ultimately that's why we say yes to a tour like this, um, especially with a new album coming out. We want to you know, blow that up as much as we yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. So I saw you guys, you know, on the Redeemer tour last year. That was a headliner. Obviously, people were there. You know, you know, you know, just killing it in the pit and stuff. This is a unique question. I don't think I've ever asked this question before. But then I saw you guys on the, you know, four day farewell tour, and then same, your crowd got in there, did their thing. Then everything else for the rest of the night was a push pit. Yeah. So, so is this one of those nights where you see like everybody loves the heavy music, but there's different kinds of, I guess, pit movements going on there, where people may be throwing some hands during Norma Jean, but Fit for King comes on and it's, you know, just the stereotypical metal push pits or whatever. I, that's actually a pretty good question because yeah, that that does happen. Um, I kind of prefer the the push pit. I think that reigns supreme because every everyone's having fun. Yeah. Whereas you know you you get a circle. So I mean, if it if it's a lot of people, it's cool. But if there's like two dudes, it's like that's another show happening over there. You know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a show on stage, and then there's a two person show with that huge hole. <laughs> over there too yeah. we got two shows in one so i don't know i, I we get a little bit of both yeah. um as long as everyone's having fun and no one's getting clobbered you know it's yeah. it's cool with me yeah so um this this album's coming out you do have new faces in the at least on this tour i know i know matt was in the studio doing drums and stuff and so, you know, I remember, you know, you've said in the past that this is a revolving door, you know, Norma Jean is what it is. It's, it's a collective of, of people, you know. And so with this collective you have now and everything, still delivering, you know, the sound, you know, evolving on the sound, but still keeping it Norma Jean, you know. You know, what, what, what is this like for you, you know, like, you know, having this, you know, just these new people coming in, you know, every few years and stuff and still putting out quality music, especially with the new record and everything. There's definitely pros and cons to it. Obviously, um, you know, fans do want to attach to certain musicians and I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with that um, I, I can't decide for them what what they're into or what they're not but 
Um, for me, it's, it's a breath of fresh air coming in the room, you know, new ideas to push us into, you know, staying relevant. And, um, but ultimately, at the end of the day, Norma Jean is still the same band from when I joined, you know, 16 years ago. Friends in a room, writing music together, yeah. and uh, that being the focus. And so I always just say, do you like the music or not? Because it, it really, it shouldn't matter who is behind it if you like the sound that's being created. And if you focus on that and, you know, not, uh, you know, who's hitting the snare drum, but it's still like, <laughs> Um, at the it doesn't time, hit the snare drum the same way. It's different. Yeah. I, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and it, they, it does have, have that, but I think that adds a new element to it. And, and Matt's played with us. He played with us for years before. Um, so him coming back just, you know, that kind of does make the collective thing happen because it's people kind of sometimes coming in, coming out. And um, at the end of the day, it's just friends in a room and I don't know how else to explain as far as our perspective goes of, of writing music but at the, at the end of the day the music that's coming out of those speakers is the most important thing yeah with the with the album all hell um it's, it's kind of like this is more of a encompassing question touching a lot of things but it comes back to that and it seems like the past year or so especially within the last last within last year including especially this year it seems like facebook groups for labels for uh, bands and all that have been popping up and Norma Sheen is is, one, is the one yeah. for Norma Jean and stuff and so you know that's you know from what I understand that's where the album came from you guys asked you know what should you know something about I guess what the name of the album should be and people were saying all hell all hell you know and so or is that how well, it happened no, or no, or it, how this because I know it had social media and Facebook had a role in it but I don't know the, the exact story on yeah, on that it's, it's we didn't ask it so uh, the the full story is that I mean if you ask anybody that knows um, from you know old school Norma Jean to you know back when I first joined you know where did the name Norma Jean come from the story isn't really fantastic it's just I don't know it just got thrown around <laughs> it got set from stage one day and it stuck so you know uh, a few years later many years later whatever the Almighty things started happening it was the same deal like it just got thrown around and we adopted it when we did the uh, vinyl box set we threw it on there and we started using it so essentially we changed the name of the band in, in a way um, All Hail is similar to that it's it's fans started doing that it was like a fun thing and and um, the the record really focuses around um, stories that we've heard from fans and, and uh, personal relationships that we've had um, with certain certain fans. And I, you'll start to see that, spe uh, specifically with a song uh, at the end of the record called Anna, what's uh, named after a fan who passed away last September. Um, really, we're just really close to her and um, we wanted to name a song after her. So it, it all ties into that and but it, it really, truly just was their organic idea. We just adopted it. Okay. Got thrown around a little bit, and it stuck. So that's really where that comes from. And I know it sounds cool, too. Yeah. So it has the whole, like, you know, even with the Tooth and L, you know, podcast and that, you know, group, the labeled podcast group and everything, and your Facebook group and everything, has, have you seen, you know, I guess more, I guess, personal interactions, connections with people because of social media and how... I guess niche it, the groups have become, you know, there's one for a lot of labels and a lot of bands and stuff. So it's like a little community. So have you seen that maybe give your band a little boost in a way, or is it sort of just like connecting to the people that's always been there? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, again, like from the era we come from, that wasn't a thing yeah, at, exactly. at the beginning. Yeah. So it really took a while, but eventually I just started to embrace it because the, the idea of there being you know, some sort of mystery behind, you know, who I am and, and, you know, what Norma Jean is or who's in, you know, kind of thing, isn't really thing anymore. There's not really mystery anymore. Yeah. So I just abandoned that completely. And <laughs> I, I really like to connect with fans. And if someone says something to me on Twitter, you know, we're, we're at a, a, a level of popularity or whatever that 
it's not so crazy that I can't reply to to a lot of people and yeah. and answer questions and make jokes or whatever. And so I, I like it. It it kind of keeps me energized because I hear so many stories from from people, you know, saying what the music we make means to them. And so that's fuel for the fire for, you know, what we do. All right, so uh, where's this? where do you see this record, you know, pushing you guys? It is, uh, what is it, your eighth record or, yeah. or something like that? Yeah, so you guys have been around for a long time, you know, and, mm -hmm. and so in 2019, Norma Jean and stuff, what where, where, where are the goals for this band at this point in your career, and where do you want this record to go? <laughs> <laughs> Number one billboard, baby, on the rock radio octane, right? <laughs> I mean, sure, I get, yeah. I mean, I, that's a, I, I think my answer would be, would be pretty generic like that yeah of course i want the record to do well and lots of people to hear it i want i want it, a lot of new ears on it um i think sonically it's it's going to be um or is one of the most sonically powerful records we've done um working with will and it's a different direction as far as how we tracked it and the whole process of of you know how we recorded the whole thing um, but, but the, behind the music, it's still, you know, what we're into and, and it's the next chapter from the last record, Polar Similar. It's, okay. it, I don't think we jumped over, you know, too far away, but we, we distance ourselves just enough without abandoning everything that we've learned up to up to this point so, so all those sellout comments all these bands get for changing the sound ain't going to come your way for this then for uh changing your sound too much or something like that i or, think i don't think i've ever gotten that i mean well, like well, if it's going away from what you guys have done screaming <laughs> over so much like what is like well, well, if it's going away from like a little bit of the stuff you've done while keeping it be norma Jean, you know trying some new things out you might get that you might get that in there because I mean I think uh, Sword of Mouth is one of my favorite songs you guys have ever done and yeah. I think if it came out today you know with all these other bands you know changing their sound for whatever reasons people would be like oh they're trying to be one of those bands getting on the radio you know just because of how that song is you know and so yeah. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that um, it, you you uh, I think the issue arises when the intent is to be on the radio you you kind of end up, you might end up making something that isn't genuine. Yeah. But if that's the the music that you're into, and, and you are truly inspired by that, and, and you and you think what you're making is inspiring itself, then um, I'll go for it. Yeah. And and also in the I don't know, I don't, I just don't like the idea of loyalty to genre, yeah. loyalty to members, loyalty to really anything it and people don't like when I say this but even the band name is a placeholder to find the find the music yeah um, obviously you have to have some you know back when you go when you used to be able to look through a record store <laughs> go to N N O Norma Jean yeah um, and that's where you find the music um, but at the end of the day you know Musicians have to experiment and try new things. And if you don't try it, then how are you going to know if you like doing it or figure it out? So we've done plenty of that. Yeah. Um, and we did it because we were inspired to do it. I don't think, I don't think sellout means anything because um, it didn't work like that. Um, and that's a popular song, too. So I can't say anything <laughs> like and it wasn't on the radio. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. All right, man. Well, uh, thanks for your time today. Uh, All Hell comes out when? October 25th. So there's a good chance it could be out when this drops. So go buy it now. We'll go pre-order it, get, get it, stream it, do whatever. So uh, thanks for your time today. Uh, good luck for the rest of your tour. Cool. Thanks, man. All right. Trent with Sound Like TV with Corey from Norman Jean. Thanks for watching.